guys, I'm back with another makeup playtime with my busy art shadows. So I am going on vacation. Um, I'm going to Vegas. So um, it's been two years. I needed to get away. I'm, I'm packing up my makeup um, and I've got all my pre-flight jitters going on and everything. So I thought what I would do is uh, make a little palette um, a little 12 pan palette out of my Viseart Etendus. So I have four of these Etendus. I definitely want to use this one as my travel palette. This is the Soleil Le Plage. Um, and I am going to be staying at the Bellagio and the Venetian. So I kind of like this sort of Mediterranean boat motif. But I also have the Violette the Bijouette, and the Paris Love Letter. And this is actually the first Etendu that I picked up. It might even be the first Vizier Art palette that I picked up. Um, so I just want to pick out my favorite shades, um, shades that'll go together, put them all in a 12 pan and take this with me. So this is nice and compact. If you saw one of my recent videos, you know that I recently took all of my petite busy art shadows and put them all in a big um, empty busy art palette. Um, so I just kind of want to leave those there for a little bit and get used to that palette. So I figured I would go into these because, and also because these are more of my colorful palettes. The ones in the petites that I have tend to be a little bit more muted. These have color, so I do want to bring some color with me. So I have a nice um, selection here. This is, again, the Soleil Le Plage. This came out in summer of, I think, 2020 or 2021. And this is a really beautiful, warm color story. This right here called C is one of my favorite shades ever. It's just completely stunning. And... Um, I definitely want to bring this with me. I just, I don't want all warm tones and I don't tend to use these sort of more um, orangey gold shades and I probably won't be using much of these sort of lemony shades, but I do have a nice warm, uh, deep, medium and light matte in here. So I think I want to keep those. And I also do really like this one. This one's very pretty. It's a little bit chunkier, but it's pretty nice. And I also like this one, this sort of yellow shimmer that goes really nicely with the blue. Then on the more neutral side, I have the Paris Love Letter. And this is a very springtime palette. So, I mean, honestly, I probably could just bring this with me because it is a springtime palette, but I am going to Vegas, so... I want to do a little something extra since that's what Vegas seems to be all about. Um, and so this has a beautiful green in it that I love. Beautiful, pretty flower or flower stem green, I guess, spring green. It has a beautiful, um, it has a beautiful purple. It has a beautiful taupe. Um, it just has a few too many pinky lightish mattes for me, so I'll probably I'll take out this one and this one. I probably don't need any of these or this pink, um, but I'll probably keep the lighter shades. Um, but mostly I think I'm going to go for these shimmers here, um, but I'll have to decide. And then for cool tones, I have the Violette. It's a beautiful packaging. And these are bright and cool tone. You've got beautiful cool tone mattes up here. You've got these vibrant purples, this beautiful dual chrome right here. So pretty. Um, and you've got a silver that has a purple flip. And you've got sort of your deeper purpley, your warmer purple and your cooler purple. Um, so I definitely want to grab some of the matte shades out of here. I definitely want to bring this guy because it's so beautiful. Um, and I don't know, I think the rest of it I would probably leave, so I'd probably just concentrate around here and see what I want. So we've got warm, neutral, and cool, and then we have the Bijouette, which is your jewel tones. You 
can see these are incredibly vibrant. You've got this beautiful blue, which I definitely want to take. You've got a purple with a blue sparkly flip. Um, you've got this beautiful jade green and a darker green. Um, you sort of got this raspberry shade. Again, all of the, these have deeper mattes. Um, so I'm probably gonna stay away from the mattes. I really do love this sort of coppery shade right here, but I'm probably not gonna be taking that with. Um, so I'll probably just be popping out the more colorful ones here. At least, at the very least, I'm going to be taking this blue with me. Okay, so let's start with the Soleil Plage and what I am not going to be taking because I will be taking the palette, but not all of the shades. So I will be taking these mattes, the, this blue, probably this yellow. I think I'm going to pull out the orange here because I don't think I'm going to use that. It is a stunning shade, but I just don't think I'm going to be using that. We'll put that over there. This is, it's Parasol. Uh, I'm going to take this more orangey shimmer. This one's called Sun Grown. I'm taking that out. I think I want to keep this for a possible matte inner corner. I'm definitely going to take out the yellow shade. And I'm going to take this one out. Not quite the vibe I'm looking for. This one has a really pretty flip to it, but mm, I don't know. So I'm going to take this color, the blue from the Bijouette, and throw that in there. And this one is called Cubism. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna pull this guy out. I don't think I'm gonna need that one. So we're definitely gonna pull this one from the Violette. This is Jezebel. I'm going to take this one out. For now. And definitely going to definitely going to add this one called Blooming from the Paris Love Letter. We'll get an idea of what some of these are like. Okay, well, I know I want to take this taupe. Right there. I think I want to take this peach, it's called. Charmed. That's very pretty. I'm going to take this light cool tone purple matte here. Okay, so what do we think? I actually don't think I'm going to have much of a need for this one. So I'm going to put in put 
and wink from the violet. And I think that's gonna do it for me. So I've got options. I've got nice sort of satiny translucent shimmers. I've got nice dual tone pops. I've got my basic um, crease shades and deepening up shades. I've got a beautiful taupe and a nice light matte purple. And um, yeah, and my inner corner shimmers, coppery lid if I want it, bronzy coppery lid, peachy lid. Um, yeah, I think this is gonna work for me. So I think that's probably gonna be what my speed is. I'm not gonna be spending way too much time on makeup. Um, I think, you never know. But usually it happens that I don't spend that much time on makeup when I'm traveling, but I do like to have it. So yeah, I think this is gonna work out for me. And um, you know, if I'm just having a whatever day, I can slap that in the crease and that on the lid or whatever and just uh, have a have an easy day. The thing I love about these Etendus is that they do have more colorful options and so I really just like being able to mix and match like this. It's the first time I've ever really done this with my Etendus so I'm excited and this one's gonna be going in my makeup bag ready to go. I still got a lot of packing and things to do. So good thing I labeled these because now they're all mixed up. But it is fun just to play with them and see what kind of color combos you can get. Um, not an artist, no idea about color theory, so obviously I don't know what I'm doing, but um, it can all be a big mess when it goes on your eyes, but you know, it's fun. It's fun just to play. By the time this video is going up, I should be home. Um, hopefully I've been to Vegas and back and everything's been great. So I hope you guys are all doing well and had a great week as well. And uh, let me know if you like to do the same thing with single shadows or vizier shadows or whatever. Um, if you like to just mix and match palettes or if you have a go-to travel palette. Um, my go-to travel palette used to be the Anastasia Soft Glam. That's the one I took to Europe with me. Um, but now I'm kind of, this is sort of the scaled down versions of that, the more compact version. So um, I definitely think this is going to do serve me well. But yeah, I'm going to have to finish up packing. Tomorrow is my birthday, so I'm not going to want to be doing all that. Um, gonna get all that nervous energy out anyway thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe any of those would be welcome and all of them would be greatly appreciated and i will see you guys in the next one bye